Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria, and you guys, ah, it feels so good to be here. I'm so excited. Um, today's video is going to be super weird and very random, but we're just going to sit down and we're going to talk. I'm going to do my makeup, and we're literally just going to, like, I don't know, hang out while I do my makeup. Um, this has been very requested from you guys, like chit chat, get ready with me's, but also I wanted to do this video just as a way to, like, come back into videos, talk to you guys. For those of you that don't know, I was in Colorado for a few days, and and I feel like a lot has changed about me. Like, when I came back, I had this full, like, cycle of my, my mentality changed on things and just, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Just so many things about me, like, mentally changed. And I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and just kind of get caught up because that's what friends do after a trip. They sit down and they catch up and they hang out. So we are going to be doing that in today's video. And I want to preface this video by saying it is going to be a long style get ready with me. This is something I've seen other creators do and I really, really enjoy it. Um, they do what's called like a mostly unedited get ready with me where they might end up being like 25 to 30 minutes long, but it's just a lot of like literal hangout and talking and just, you know, just chilling and normal and it's not all about like editing and product based and that sort of thing. So I thought it would be cool to turn this into one of those, literally just sit down and talk and hang out. That being said, you will have noticed just a slight edit just right there. And uh, that's because I will make an effort to edit out all of the like snifflies of a sick person because you guys, I came back, I was fine and then I immediately got sick because someone that I work with was sick. And I came back, I said hello and next thing I know, poof, it infiltrated my actual body. So I have a severe head cold at the moment, but I still wanted to sit down and hang out with you. So I will be editing out like the sniffles and the <laughs> that whole thing, that's that's gotta go, because that's gross. Ain't nobody got want time or want to hear about that. Now, um, the products I have to mention, this is actually a great segue into my Colorado trip, where at the end of it, everything went horribly wrong, because for those of you that didn't see the news, Colorado went crazy. Apparently, Denver was getting this huge storm, and it was just blah! And when all of that happened, a ton of flights were delayed, and it made complete pandemonium at the airport, which is what happened to your girl. So, I had some deadlines for some stuff for Octoly that I needed to mention to you guys that I've and testing out and that deadline is like literally the day you're watching this so I want to make sure that I put those in the beginning of this video and a ton of you that saw me unbox them over on Instagram were super super curious how did they end up working out and all of that stuff so I wanted to mention them up front and uh, then we can kind of jump in I do have one of them which is the foundation I'll be using today um so that one will come a little bit later but these first couple I actually have our skincare and the one you can see right here this is the Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer it's like a a standard toner you know you pat it on at the beginning of your skincare so you wash your face and then it's toner essence so on and so forth and I have been loving this so much this is all I've used in I've been using this for what three or four weeks like if I'm at my deadline I've had it for 30 days and I have used this morning and night a ton and this stuff is so so nice what I like about it is that because it's made to be like a toner and a moisturizer in one it's a very moisturizing toner as as the name would suggest and I really enjoy that aspect of it because I feel like with a lot of toners you get this kind of feeling like eh, it's just water it doesn't really do anything and this one actually did help to go in and moisturize my skin on like a more um, finite molecular level it's not I would say it's not quite as moisturizing as the one from fresh which I've used a ton you guys know I've talked about that a million times on here their rose water one um, but it is really really nice I'm a big fan and I just I, I love the way that this moisturizes because it's not overly intense and that toner is actually a perfect segue into my next item here which is from Caudalie. Now this does go without saying but for those of you that don't know or just to reiterate just to make sure that we are 100% compliant um, with all the guidelines and the rules of receiving free product for review. I received all of these for free for my honest opinion and review and I just want to be upfront about that. Now that leads us into this set right here like I said from Caudalie. This is so so good. This is their Le Stars de Clat Naturel. I don't know. Um, I just butchered that. But this is their skincare set. And these are the three items you get in here. Basically a travel size essence and a travel size moisturizer and then a full size of their serum. And I have been using this set in combination with my Laneige toner. I actually traveled with this set specifically because it was nice and travel size already. And just individually a rundown. This essence is so, so, so good. 
a little bit of this it goes such a long way. I really like the way it sinks into the skin. I haven't noticed too much in the brightening aspect, but I really like the thinness of it for an essence. It doesn't go on and leave like a weird film, and I've used essences in the past that do, so I'm a big fan of that. This is the serum. This is the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Radiant Serum for Complexion Correction for all skin types, and as you can see, I don't, well, I think you can see it. I've used like right to here, so I've used over half the bottle. Um, I've been using this morning and night. It works beautifully under makeup. It works really nice under your moisturizer. Uh, before you go to bed, I have had no issues with this, and I can't speak much to the complexion correction, that whole thing, but I do really love the radiance aspect of this. It's such a nice light kind of like dew to your skin, but it isn't the kind of dew, yet again, that's like topical in any way, like a, um, like a shine. It's more of like an inner radiance that just kind of comes out of your skin with this. It's very nice, very subtle. And that brings us to the last little guy right here. This is like a deluxe size of their Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. And I love this. It's almost completely empty. And I have been using this, again, day and night. It's more of a night cream, but like during the day while I was in Colorado, my skin got a little bit dry. And I did reach for this. It's so nice, so moisturizing. It is on the thicker side, so keep that in mind. It's not typically something you'd probably want to wear under your makeup. All of that brings me to the last item I have to talk about before we jump into makeup, and that is this right here. You guys, I never thought in a million little years I would get something from Givenchy sent to my little doorstep, like ring, ring, hello, hi, who's there? Right now, it sounds like Fran Drescher, like from the nanny, is answering your door. I freaking love this. Oh my gosh. So my mom and I have been using it. First of all, a little goes such a long way. Like, we've barely made a dent in this. It is like a hundred dollar perfume from Givenchy, and it's in the scent Rosé. Number one, it smells so so beautiful. It is light. It is airy, but you can also kind of build the scent in a way which I really enjoy. It's not like a cheap, nasty smelling rose. For those of you that are out there and you're looking for that scent, you could definitely go in somewhere, give this a scent. I don't know. Everything will be linked down below with Octoly's links, but um, I would check and see like if you ever go into a Sephora or a department store if this is an option to give it a smell because it smells so, so good. It doesn't smell like cheap, nasty rose. I love it. She loves it. All right, guys. So now that I've went through, that's my spiel on all of that. Let's go ahead and actually get into some makeup up and talk about Colorado because I have some stuff to say. Also, um, half my stuff is still packed in my bag right here, so don't mind me while I just like kind of dig it out and like live my best life um, because, guys, it has been so hectic coming home. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so let's talk. Let's chat. Let's do our makeup. So um, where do I want to start? Let's, well, let's first of all, primer. Hello. Alright guys, so found my primer, and for those of you that are wondering, I won't be talking a lot about the makeup today. Everything will be listed down below, um, but I won't, like, I'm not spending time on the makeup aspect of things, so if I skip over it or whatever, you don't know what I used, check down below because it will be listed. But let's go ahead and talk about Colorado. So for those of you that don't know or don't follow me on Instagram or anything like that, um, I actually hadn't traveled prior to this trip for over 10 years. And and when I say traveled, I don't mean like, oh, I live in northern Michigan. I hadn't went downstate. I mean I hadn't traveled anywhere, downstate, upstate, any state, anywhere. I had not went any place outside of my immediate surroundings for over 10 years. And for me, that was really significant because I didn't realize how much of a literal shut-in I had become in the last 10 plus years. Um, and prior to traveling, by the way, all those years ago, I actually went on missions trips with my church. I'd been on two of those, uh, but I never went anywhere like for myself. So this was actually my first and only vacation I've ever taken for me, just with me. Like it was, it's the only time I've ever done that. So going into it, I was very, apprehensive to say the least like I was nervous about so many things and the question that I keep getting asked the most is Paige why did you wait so long to travel like what was your decision in that like why why did you never go and I think the easiest way for me to sum that up and it's not meant to be a cop-out answer it's just I got lost in myself I got lost in my business I got lost in a relationship I got lost in so many aspects of my life and I never realized that those things could consume you so much and so here I was you know a young kid the last time I went anywhere I was 19 years old and I went to do missions in the Philippines and I went over I did it and I was done after that I was like okay you know I feel fulfilled I feel good I came back we, we had our business that was up and running and I never thought about um, anything really that involved myself like it was always just so driven towards other people and okay like my crew 
needs this and now we need to get this part and we need this for the shop and we need to do this and and everything that I did was so driven toward that aspect of my life and I had figured you know what like Paige you just took these big trips like don't worry about it it's not a big deal um it's it, things don't matter in that respect like it's okay to take a hiatus away from you and focus on a business and focus on other people because as you guys know I'm so so focused like on other people and that sort of thing so that's very clearly where my heart lies so it was easy for me to kind of dive into that and put myself on the back burner I thought you know what I'm 19 like I've literally got my whole life and I think that's probably the first big lesson that I learned in all of this is that it's so easy to lose 10 years of your life like I think about I'm not gonna try to be like overly emotional here I think about how I got lost so easily for 10 years and I used to be that person that was like how do people get lost in a relationship how do you get lost? like how could that possibly happen and it happened to me and I consider myself like a driven like nose down kind of person and it happened to me so quickly 10 years doesn't even seem like anything it doesn't seem like it even happened and I think like that's the first lesson after all of this has happened is that it really can happen to anyone and my focus and like my determination and my pride that I take in being like a strong independent business owner and I take you know and and my channel and I take a lot of pride and care in this and I do this and I, I have all of these different facets to me and as I sit down and I think about all of those attributes those are the things that I think were ultimately what gave me so much like ability and gave me the the potential to do what I do in life but those are also the very things that took away like 10 years and that that really derailed me so just something to keep in mind like if you're sick like me if you are a really like headstrong like I'm gonna do this kind of mentality also like me it's so easy to get lost in your best attributes and that's like a huge thing that I learned because I just I, I got lost and I was one of those people that I thought I could keep it in check I thought I could keep it in balance and I failed and <laughs> I failed hard also by the way this hair this is just how it's gonna be I didn't feel like doing my hair my face just decided it didn't need to be done so this is the this is the hair we're working with today is my tongue pink I ate a popsicle or two earlier and um I'm like I can't quite see I can't quite breathe like my nose is just taking over all my senses and I couldn't tell if I just came on camera and talked for all this time with a red tongue because wouldn't that just be great all right but anyways let's go ahead and jump back into it here so why Colorado that's like the next question I get asked a ton is what's the allure why did you go there um, do you have friends family whatever and actually my best friend lives out there or lived out there they're in the process of moving uh, but her husband serves in the Air Force so um, I went out there to see them visit all that good stuff and I flew out with her mom uh, because I hadn't obviously flown or went anywhere in over 10 years so your girl was a little bit rattled and I was going to vlog this whole thing by the way but I realized too that like so much of my life is dedicated to this and like dedicated to filming and dedicated to all of these different things that I wanted to just be in the moment and I'm so glad that I was because I feel like doing that really did open up a lot of doors and a lot of just like calming time where I was just with my friends and I was with people that I loved and I forgot and I know this sounds really weird but if you're like a chronic illness person like me um, it's easy to forget that there's like good times out there where you don't feel bad either about yourself or physically or whatever and I know like everyone can relate to that on some level but as a chronic ill person and a lot of other chronic illness people that watch me it can be so difficult all the time to just never feel well ever like you never feel good and that's something that with this trip I really wanted to even if I didn't feel good I really wanted to like live in that moment and live in that time as much as possible um, even though I love vlogging you guys know I love vlogging but it was just really important to me to like take that time so for those of you that are wondering why I didn't vlog that's why um, just because I think it I think it was good for me like mentally and physically and all of that to just like be present and I know a lot of you were even telling me like Paige stay off your phone like just do you and like live life and I'm so glad I did um but anyways oh my dear sweet Jesus but anyways all right so let's go ahead and keep talking guys I will get so sidetracked and I apologize my nose is just <laughs> I can't concentrate on anything um but so I flew out with her mom and she was such a good flying buddy she's like the sweetest woman ever um I absolutely love her she reminds me so much of my mother um which is great because it was like flying and I was so comfortable with someone that I knew it was great in that respect um, flying was terrifying but I got through it and I was way better than I thought I would be if I'm being honest um, I 100% 
thought <laughs> this looks so good um i 100 you know clearly thought we were gonna die because like i hadn't flown in 10 years and they wouldn't make any advancements to planes or safety or anything only bad things that were gonna happen like for some reason in my mind i hadn't been on a plane for over 10 years and that meant that no advancements had been made just because like i wasn't around to see them typical me. So <laughs> we got on the plane and one of the first things that happened is uh, we were flying out really, really early and it's my first time flying and the girl that I was with, um, her name is Jojo, that's what we call her, and she's like, everyone is hoping that, you know, everything is nice, it's smooth, like things are going to go so well and uh, the first thing the pilot does is he comes over the PA and he's like, um, excuse me, um, hello, good morning, we tend to be having some difficulties here, and, um, things are gonna be delayed. And I about broke down, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna die. She immediately starts cracking up laughing, because it's, like, normal to have, you know, stuff like that happen and whatever, and she, I, we just laughed about it the whole time I was gone. Like, my trip literally started off with the pilot saying, um, yeah, things aren't going quite as planned, we're really sorry about that. Meanwhile, your girl had to pee so bad, thought I was gonna die. I don't know the rules on a plane as far as, like, hey, I'm about to pee my pants, like, Girl, we're gonna have cleanup aisle one if we don't, like, let Paige use that little teeny tiny lavatory. Which, by the way, can we talk about plain bathrooms real quick? I know it's been a minute since I've been on one, but, like, and, and like, maybe it's just because I'm fat. Like, I'm not sure. But, like, I literally could not, like, spin around in there. Like, I had to, like, go in. I damn near had to walk back out to turn around. Like, I thought about going back out, taking my pants off, and then backing in. Like, beep, beep, beep. Like, backing in, like, a Tonka trunk. That Tonka trunk? <laughs> oh, my sign is this. So we get to Colorado. Things are fine. I'm like, okay, thank God. Kiss the ground. We're alive. I get to use a full-size bathroom again. Hallelujah. Like, you would never know how grateful you are to have a small, regular stall in a restaurant until you've used a plain bathroom. But I digress. Also, I had to go in there. Like, I kept wishing I had, like, a can of Lysol or anything that I could spray with because, guys... Bathrooms are just not it. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm a germa freak in regular life. Like, huh, I just, oh my god. Germs everywhere. Also, real quick, I'm just going to interject. This is the foundation I am using today. This is the Pure 4 in 1 Love Yourself E foundation. And I also had this sent over from Octoly. This is in the shade LG7, which is way too dark for me. But I love the formula of this 4 in 1 Love Yourself E. Um, and I even told them, I'm like, this isn't my shade, but I'm going to use it as how I'm, I'm going to use it today. I'm going to use it as how I'm going to use it today. Page, take a nap. Anyways, basically I'm going to be using this as my Scott Barnes method today, which is where you use it to kind of piece in. And I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, okay, but just stay with me. Um, and it kind of blends in like that. But this foundation is so nice. It has beautiful coverage to it. And I love the way that it sits on the skin. It's so, so nice. I've seen this work really well for people that have, like, dry skin, if you have combo skin. I even had um, more oily skin when I started using it, and I liked it then, too. Like, it's just a beautiful foundation, nice coverage, and you can use it for concealing. You can use it for um, highlighting your face, all that good stuff, and really sculpting it out because the coverage is just so freaking beautiful. Anyways, okay, so we did the Polar Express. It was super fun. Um, honestly, it was literally just riding a train. We all wore matching flannel pajamas, which was absolutely hilarious. I'll actually go ahead and I'll throw up a picture of me wearing them um, on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. And it was that like head to toe, like the whole, it was a whole outfit. Oh wow, it was a lot. Uh, we looked like a one big old plaid Brady Bunch type family. After we did the Santa parade or the Santa train and all of that, we actually spent the following day going shopping which was so much fun like for me to just go out and like enjoy life and do what normal people do on vacation which by the way i didn't know vacation was so much fun why haven't i been doing it all along it was a blast but we went out and I did some shopping. I bought, um, like, I went to Old Navy. I got to go to a Nordstrom's Rack, which I had never been to. So much fun. Um, from Nordstrom's Rack, we went to, where else did we go? Just a bunch of places inside the mall. Um, I had the best Aunt Annie's pretzel I've ever had in my entire life. Can't think of anywhere, like, all the other places we went. I'm literally looking at a pile of clothes, by the way. I wanted to ask you guys, would you be interested in seeing, like, a haul of what I bought while I was in Colorado? I don't know if you would or not. I wanted to ask. Um, it would include a lot of sweaters, because you know your girl loves sweaters. One of which is this right here. I got this at Target. Um, I'll link it down below for you if I can find it. It's just a Christmas sweater, and it's a Friends, the Friends scene where there's Santa Claus, 
um, Monica and the Christmas armadillo where Ross dresses up for his son Ben. If you know the scene, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I but I got this at Target and I'll link that down below. But do you guys want to see a full on video? of like a haul of what I got while I was in Colorado. Would you be interested? It would be basically like a random plus size try on haul plus other randomness that I picked up whilst I was there. But anyways, okay, so moral of the story, by the way, had another little sneeze attack. It's fine. Um, we went shopping, did all of that. And then for the last like day I was there, day and a half I was there, we basically just like hung out. We did go to one or two more stores. We didn't do like a ton of shopping just because at that point, like I'd already been to the mall, been there, seen that kind of thing. Um, and it was just really fun to just get to sit hang out. Um, we hung out a little bit more with the kiddos, which was fun. Um, and yeah, that was it. I was only gone. Like, that's the other thing too that seems so weird about as I'm saying all of this. It feels like in my heart and soul that I was gone for so long. I was gone for literally five days, four nights. <laughs> like, it wasn't anything crazy. Um, I went, I, we flew out like really early on a Thursday. So I was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, came home Monday. Like, it wasn't anything where I was, you know, there this crazy amount of time but in the amount of time I was there I did get to have like so many like just changes in my thoughts and my opinions my behaviors all that stuff guys I just did it again I don't know what I was talking about I started doing my brows I don't know what I was talking about um, like at all and I just sat here for the last five minutes racked my brain and sneezed of course trying to figure out like what the hell was I talking about like where was I going with this <sighs> um so I guess I'm just gonna like interject. I don't know where I left off, so I apologize if that segue made no sense. Um, and I just forgot again what I was gonna say. Wow. But one of the things I think that I learned that was huge from this trip in general is that I was living with the most incorrect set of ideals and that's so difficult for me to even admit like openly on camera and for people that have known me in real life for the last 10 years I have always been that person that's like you don't need a vacation like you need to go to work you don't need this you just need to put your head down and like do your work like I am such a focused like work driven person and I always thought going through life that that was so okay and like it's it's admirable even to be so driven and to be so nose to the grindstone and like so selfless and so whatever and what I learned on this trip and it's so hard for me and weird for me to openly admit it now is that I was wrong like I have been living with this crazy unrealistic expectation of myself not even just as like a sick person and like someone that is chronically ill and someone that has had to come to terms with the fact that I don't have like the superwoman body I was thought I would have <laughs> I don't know why I ever thought I'd have that, but like in my mind, I was like, I'm superwoman. I can do anything. And I've lived with this crazy unrealistic standard for so, so long. And coming back from this trip, I'm like, Paige, first of all, you don't need to be superwoman. Like you, you don't have to be number one. Number two, it's so unrealistic for someone with your body and your ability to be that person. And maybe maybe just maybe you haven't been making doing yourself any favors or making yourself any better um because you don't allow yourself any time to just like exist or any time to be in the world and i don't know why that's i feel like that's something that normal people come to that realization so much sooner and for me i just had to go through 10 years of absolute craziness and i had to go through all this stuff to come to the realization that guys it's okay to not do everything and to not be able to do everything. Oh my god, hello, pause, freeze. Totally forgot another place that we went or that they took me to was this place called Garden of the Gods. Denver. That was so beautiful. Colorado Springs. I don't know where it was. I just know it was called Garden of the Gods, guys. I wasn't looking at a map, okay? I was just sitting there looking at all the pretties. Um, it is so beautiful. Like, it's oh my god the landscape is amazing in Colorado um like all the mountains and all that was so beautiful and um this place was so no different it's like a beautiful scenic area where you can get out you take pictures and it's just absolutely stunning so we went there as well and they took me up to a couple of other like little tourist areas which were super fun you know what would have been really smart by the way just as just a side note going into this video would have been really smart to put my makeup next to me and not leave it sitting in front of me so I had to dig every single time I needed a product <laughs> things I should have thought about because every time I've needed a brush like it's in this bag of crap on my lap and I just have to try and find it <sighs> not annoying at all um anyways okay so what else was there there really wasn't um too much that was like 
overly standouty. I mean, it was just really a lot of like friend time. Um, oh, okay. So let's segue real quick. Um, we can talk a little bit about Black Friday because a ton of you wanted to know, um, video wise and like all of that for Black Friday. Like, what are my plans? So on and so forth. So, um, also let's how about we, Paige, stop. <sighs> Guys, I keep putting everything back in here and it's like just, just I, how many sponges does one girl need? on her lap in front of her. I tell you what, not free. We're not even at the brushes or the, the whatever those sponges are anymore. We're not even at that point. Also, do I actually plan on putting anything of substance on my eyes? No. I am uh, going to put some bronzer from this palette right here, this Physician's Formula one that they sent me. I've been using this a lot. As you can tell, I took it with me to Colorado. And I'm going to use this Sunset Bronzer in the middle and my little uh, Refer 02 brush here. And I'm going to put this all over my lid and just like call it a bronzy moment. I actually did this while I was out there too and it looks really pretty. It's a really nice color. Uh, but today's video wasn't really about the makeup, but I feel weird not putting anything up there, so we're gonna do that. Uh, anyways, all right, so I did have a ton of questions from you guys on Instagram. Like, girl, first of all, to those of you that asked me if I was still doing YouTube when I was only gone for a week, I love you. <laughs> I love that you guys have me so integrated into your life that you were like, Paige, where are you? Are you ever coming back? Like, that made me feel really special. Um, but anyways, a bunch of you guys asked me over there, like, are you going to do a Black Friday haul? How do you want to do that? And I guess that's kind of up to you guys, because I did do a little shopping on Black Friday itself. Uh, but because of where I live, like way up here in the northern MI, um, I had to do a lot of it online. So, for example, I did place a Torrid order, like a plus size, you know, clothing haul for Torrid. Um, and I figured that one would just be like a regular it's a torrid haul. Um, so you guys can, you'll see that whenever that order gets here. Um, I did purchase my first order from Boohoo. Whoo, good lord, that wasn't like a Black Friday thing. That actually came in while I was away on my trip. And that was quite the experience. So I will film that if you guys are interested and get that video up as well. Um, it's a huge haul. And I'd love to say that what I ordered came in. <laughs> Fun fact, it's not. Um, but I have that video, which um, that can go up as well. But as far as the Black Friday stuff, a lot of the shopping I did, like, for example, when I was out in Colorado... Um, I got, like, we went to Old Navy, and um, it was half off the entire store if you were a card member, which my friend was, so I literally got to shop their Black Friday sale, which I haven't gotten to do in years, and it was so much fun, but if you guys maybe want me to combine, like, what I did pick up in store slash Colorado, maybe put those together, I can do that. Um, you guys just let me know, like, what do you want to see? I haven't been here for a hot minute, so this is going to be what y'all want to see. What do you want to see from me? Woo! You know what's so funny, guys? I cannot wait until, and I was just talking to my mom about this, like, before before I sat down to film this video. I can't freaking wait until I get to um, do Vlogmas. Like, I want to have a channel that's big enough where I can justify vlogging for 30 days and just, like, having it be so fun and so lifestyle. And it doesn't matter. Like, for 30 days, what are we doing? One day we're putting up a Christmas tree. Like, another day we are, I don't know, doing a holiday makeup look. The next day we're putting up this, and the next day we're doing decorations. The next day we're shopping. The next day I'm making a gingerbread house with my mom. Like, I don't care. I just, like, oh my god. I think being able to do vlogmas would be so freaking fun. Oh, I love it so much. So real quick, I just threw on my mascara and some Fenty gloss. I didn't realize how incapable of talking I was while I did my mascara. It's all new to me. Like, I sat here and I was trying to talk to you the whole time, and I'm trying to put on my mascara, and I just, it's like one or the other, like brows or talking, mascara or talking. I just couldn't. So I went ahead, I threw on some gloss. I'm going to consider the makeup good. Um, cause I did, I, there's something else that I want to mention. <laughs> I had to put that down real quick. Um, but I wanted to like make sure that I was actually able to talk and like be cognizant while I did it. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that during that 10 year thing that I've talked about and I've, you know, mentioned quite a few times, um, during that time, um, I gave a lot of myself to the man that I was dating. I, I was in a relationship for five years. And um, I think one of the bigger takeaways that I had from this trip that I also wanted to share with you is how important it is to not lose yourself when you're in a relationship. And that's something I didn't even realize that I did it, if I'm being dead honest. Like, I didn't realize that I had literally morphed into someone that I was only defined by that man. I was only defined by what he allowed or what, um, what he said went 
said. Like, basically, if he wanted or if we were going to go out somewhere, it was what he said. If we were going to do something, it was what he was comfortable with. And I lost so much of myself, which is so weird to say because I'm such, like, an outgoing, like, domineering type personality. Uh, but it just goes to show that, like I said at the beginning of this video, you never think that you're the one that can get lost. Like, I never thought, for example, that I was the type of person that could lose 10 years of her life just by working and putting my nose down and, like, doing all these things. I never thought that I was also the type of person that could be lost in a relationship like that, and I wholeheartedly was that person. And I just bring this up, you know, we haven't been together in years, so that is what it is. Um, but I didn't realize until going on this trip that, like, there are so many things about life that I enjoyed that I allowed to be not a part of my life because he didn't like them or because this wasn't comfortable or XYZ. And I just wanted to encourage you guys, like, as someone who got out of a bad relationship and um, went through a lot of crap for a long time at a very impressionable time in my life, um... I can't imagine who I would be now if I was still in that relationship and if I was still going through that because I think I wouldn't have an identity and that makes me really sad. Um, and you know, it's not all on him either. It's not all on just him and what he did because ultimately like I didn't let my voice be heard because I wanted to make him happy and I put someone else's happiness before mine constantly. And it's not okay that it's allowed to happen, but it's not so also not okay that I let it happen either. And um, I just wanted to throw that out there for those of you that you are chronically ill and it's so easy um, not just for those people or plus size people or want any type of people it's easy for us as human beings to lose our voice when we love other people and when we care about other people so much and for me like to culminate this whole trip I think that's what had happened to me you know for 10 years I lost myself I loved other people I loved him I loved my family I love my crew I love my business I love all of these things um, and I forgot that somewhere in there it was supposed to to, like I love me and like I care about me and I also should have been a priority and I was always that person that always thought like oh that's like I don't need to be a priority it's fine and I should be a priority and I should matter and I should be in my equation of what am I gonna do that I should be built into that and what I'm looking for in life I guess I guess that's kind of all I wanted to say I know that it's like a really long drawn out I don't even know what this is. Um, just to say that I'm so glad to be back and I'm still sick and I will still, you know, I'll be getting some content up for you guys hopefully hopefully soon. Um, obviously this video is up and I know it's on the longer side, but I really wanted to come back and just talk to you guys and hang out. And also, by the way, thank you guys so much for 15,000. Just buzzed right by that. Um, thank you for that and for another milestone. And I hope that in the coming months and in the coming years, um, you guys are as excited for growth as I am and that you guys are excited to see how this thing changes and how it grows and how I change and grow and you guys let me just be me and it's really really means a lot um, now for those of you that made it to this point in the video I'm just gonna like slide in there um, because I know a lot of people didn't and that's totally understandable because it's a long video but if you made it to this point in the video be on the lookout for some merch that will be dropping relatively soon. Um, I'm really excited about it. I will make a full video on it, talk about it. I want to make sure that I get my samples in and that I really like everything. But yeah, just a little treat for me to you, for those of you that have been on the lookout. Uh, merch is going to happen very soon. I'm very hopeful for that, and I'm super, super excited. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Check, baby. Mic on. Candle flaming. <laughs> I got some of that weird... I left foundation on my lip butthole thing going on. That looks cute. Uh -huh. There is just no lighting in here that's good for me. Am I crooked? <laughs> is this crooked or not? I can't tell. I just realized I never put a brow bone highlight on. <laughs> Who am I? Like, ew. <laughs> in what world would you not want a highlighted brow bone? Probably in the same world, though, where we just leave the mass of brow gel above my brow. In that world. Brow gel all over my forehead and no brow bone highlight. Yeah, okay. Also, real quick, you guys, I have to show you my slippers. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these. These are my Ugg slippers. <laughs> what was that laugh?